I always do this speed round thing where I ask okay. some questions uh, that really doesn't have anything to do with what we've been talking about. Oh, I so love it. Get, My favorite. Yeah, I get to know the fighter a little bit. Uh, okay, speed round time with Mr. Dean Thomas. Here we go. Number one, scariest thing you've ever done, I think you just told us. Swimming with sharks, yep. Swimming with sharks. Number two, if you could remake any movie, what would it be and what role would you play? I would I would remake um, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. And I would, oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> and I would play Keenan Ivory Wayne's part in that. Oh, I love it. I was going to say, what about uh, what about remaking Last Dragon and being oh, show enough? And I, yeah, if I could remake, I would be show enough for show sure. Enough. Hell, hell yeah. I got to do it. I got another nice, really nice question coming up here. Number three, same exact question, but you're going to make a movie with Matt Sarah. What are you remaking? Oh, that's easy. Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Either that or, the, or 48 Hours. All right. What about White Man Can't Jump? Oh, yeah, because but my, Matt can't ball. So, like, that would be really interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember you guys shooting around on the on the show. That was pretty funny. Uh, what is the hottest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, easily those uh, wings in uh, in Austin, Texas. That yeah, had me, that had me on the floor for a while. They hit you. Um, they hit you the next morning too. Oh man, I mean, it, it that it hit me for like a week, man. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> All right, it's scariest human you've ever encountered. Um, you you know, uh, Tyrone Spong. Is the oh. scary. Yeah, Tyrone Spong is a scary dude, man. Yes, he is. He scares me. Yeah. <laughs> he, he seems like one of the most intense people you've ever ever seen. Uh, do you think Tyron Woodley's a good rapper? Yeah, I got to give him his props, man. Like yeah. when he first started, you know, he had, he struggled a little bit, but he like anything else, man. He just needed some some experience and some time to get it together. And like when you hear his newer stuff, like you know, you'll give him his props. Yeah, I was just breaking his balls right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know the dude. I just wanted to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, he's kind of like you in like the Renaissance man way. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He's a funny dude. He's an actor. He's got a show, and he does it all too, man. Like yeah, that's why we. Get, that's why we get along. Yeah. What's the last TV series that you watched all the way through every single episode? And you're wearing the shirt right now. That was Kingdom. Oh, dude. absolutely. One of my favorite shows of all time, actually. It is mine too, man. I love that. Do you think that Dana White uses the Meniere's disease to cop out of some of the things that you guys do on the show? No, I don't. Um, no? And, nah, because I remember he had like a, a, a slight episode um, when the cameras weren't around. So I was like, that's a serious thing for him. So like, it's not a, yeah. um, it's not a, yeah, it's not a joke for him. Oh, I know he had it. Uh, he had an episode while you guys were down in Cabo watching fights. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it seems, but like, I think sometimes like, uh, one of the episodes when you guys were going hang gliding, it was like that day me me and Matt went alone because he had a manure. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he just didn't want to go hang gliding. Man. I don't know. I mean, I don't think so because Dana Dana's a he's a he's a soldier, man. He'd do it. I think I think it's true though. Yeah, and he has also has the coolest house ever up in Maine, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you could have a uh, return fight, a legends fight, who would it be against? Honestly, and this sounds bad, but Matt Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would like Matt's like the only guy I would probably still fight. So he can wipe that tattoo off your arm. Yeah, he could try to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. If you could pick one non combat athlete to try to turn into a fighter, much like you've done with Greg Greg Hardy, who's the other one? Pick another one. Um <sighs> probably Allen Iverson. Wow. I didn't see that one coming. Alan, yeah. AI was he's great. Yeah, like his movement, man. I think, and he's so quick. I think he could he could probably if he if I could teach him how to throw some punches, I think he'd be all right. And he had some the, the heart too, man. He had heart. Some of the best, yeah. Well, to be six foot tall and just schooling seven footers every day, you know. Yeah. Uh, AI was the man. Last uh, bonus question. I had to throw this one because I asked everybody: uh, Are you uh, Team Johnny or Team Daniel son in the Karate Kid saga? Oh, Team Johnny all the way. Mr. Dean, <laughs> Mr. Dean Thomas. 